25 best PS2 strategy games. Number 25, Soul Nomad and the World Eaters. Fans of the strategy RPG genre will do well in getting Soul Nomad, which like the Disgaea games that offer nearly limitless replayability. And if you're new to this type of game, Soul Nomad, despite its inconsistent level of instruction, is a great way to pick up a new addiction. Number 24, Stella Deus, The Gate of Eternity. Stella Deus doesn't set out to redefine its genre but instead simply provides a good game of its type. Its battle system is slightly different but still easy to pick up and learn, and the skill and fusion systems allow for some character customization on already solid templates. Console strategy fans should have a good time with this one. Number 23, Jurassic Park Operation Genesis. Jurassic Park Operation Genesis is an enjoyable game that should appeal to dinosaur buffs and park simulation fans alike, thanks to its attractive graphics engine and unique features. For dinosaur fans who are mature enough, this title provides an enjoyable experience. Number 22, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits. Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits is a strictly by the numbers RPG, and that's not at all a bad thing. Its combat and character customization systems are both accessible to inexperienced players and intricate enough for RPG diehards. And if you can see and hear past the minor flaws, it's just downright fun to play. Take this! Number 21, Gladius. If you're up for a deep, long-lasting strategy gaming experience, then Gladius is perfect for you. At the heart of this game is an interesting and well-thought-out combat system, and there are so many viable combinations of characters and skills to experiment with that this game could easily keep you busy for much longer than most games do these days. Number 20, Kessen 3. It can be a tough order to make a strategy game that's easy to just pick up and play, but Kessen 3 is both accessible and enjoyable. While some of the action has a tendency to get repetitious, when that action consists of smashing large numbers of troops against one another in huge battles, most action aficionados won't mind terribly. Number 19, Kessen 2. With its intuitive interface, reduced strategy elements, and complex cinematics and storyline, Kessen 2 is designed to appeal to a more mainstream audience. Although the game achieves those goals marvelously by bringing you closer to the action, fans of the original game might miss the emphasis on advanced war strategy. Number 18, Front Mission 4. Ultimately, those most likely to enjoy Front Mission 4 are already Front Mission fans. The best points of the game are mitigated by the oftentimes slow pacing and unnecessary obfuscation of the upgrade system. However, those with a penchant for max and wealth of options for their upkeep will find Front Mission 4 a worthy outlet for their interest. Number 17, Dynasty Tactics 2. Its predecessor introduced a unique style of tactical turn-based combat to the PS2, and Dynasty Tactics 2 runs with the formula by offering new moves and options, making the gameplay even more complex and interesting. This isn't a game brimming with pick-up and play appeal, but if you're looking for a deep and rewarding game, look no further.
Number 16, Harvest Moon Save the Homeland Previous games in the series may have deeper gameplays, but the simplified nature and attractive graphics of Save the Homeland make it an ideal choice for those new to the series. On its own merits, this title is an engaging experience, and it may just be some of the most fun you can have on a lazy weekend afternoon. Number 15, Romance of the Three Kingdoms 9 As always, the big caveat with Romance of the Three Kingdoms is that it's meant for a very specific audience that's like slow, thought-intensive games that don't present any substantial action. If that's what you're into, Romance 9 is a worthy new entry in the genre. Ultimately, it's more of what you already love. Number 14, Full Spectrum Warrior Most military buffs probably won't get past Full Spectrum Warrior's lack of gameplay realism, and they won't find much in the way of real depth and variety, but it's still ultimately worth checking out if you're looking for something completely different. Listen up, Alpha. Move. Number 13, Kesen. Japanese history buffs will definitely love this game, and even novice players will appreciate the game with its stunning visuals and sounds. The only question is whether you are willing to sit down and play the game with its continuously redundant nature. Number 12, Ring of Red. Ring of Red is easily one of the best strategy games on the PS2, not to mention one of the more inventive to ever grace on a console. It should be a no-brainer for fans of the sorely underrepresented genre. It's a huge game that will easily consume a good deal of your time, and fortunately, its system remains fresh to love. Number 11, Monster Ranger 4. If you enjoyed the first two games on the PS1, but felt the changes made when the series transition to the PS2 were too jarring, you'll find Monster Ranger 4 to be a return to its classic form. And at this point, only a fan could overlook some of the game's shortcomings. But in the end, the formula still works. Number 10, Dynasty Tactics. A bit more work on the broad scale strategy portions and the interface could have made Dynasty Tactics virtually above reproach. As it is, though, the rich setting, wealth of options, and gratifying gameplay still make Dynasty Tactics a great purchase for strategy enthusiasts. Number 9, Monster Ranger 3. Monster Ranger 3 manages to expand on its predecessors without losing the core appeal of the series. The weakest part of the whole package would have to be the game's sound, which is somewhat repetitive and doesn't offer enough variations. However, Monster Ranger 3 is an extremely solid game that takes the series in a promising direction. Number 8, Makai Kingdom, Chronicles of the Sacred Tomb. This game doesn't deviate much from its predecessors, but it does feel slightly more refined than the game it borrows from. In the end, if you like strategy role-playing games and don't mind a bit of silliness, Makai Kingdom is worth checking out. Number 7, Grim Grimoire. It'll take you a couple dozen hours to finish up the story, 
but you can return to any map you want once the mission is complete. Grim Grimoire is a fun and terrific gem waiting to be discovered. It may not be the most fully featured strategy game, but it's brimming with magical wonder and is easily recommendable. Number 6. Sakura Wars So Long My Love Sakura Wars is a game apart. It is a niche game within a niche genre and is quite proud of it. The open-minded and unafraid will find a cheerful experience that is happily free of more contemporary obsessions with maturity and greed. Content to be silly, fluffy, quirky, and madly anime. Number 5. Theme Park Roller Coaster Theme Park Roller Coaster is a fun, clean, addictive game that's intelligent and highly amusing. While complicated at times, it is a blast to play, a particular breed of fun, one that appeals to game players with the knack for tinkering, modifying, and who lack relentless revision. Number 4. La Pucelle Tactics La Pucelle Tactics isn't terribly deep from a strategic standpoint, but there's a lot to it. Exploring the game's chapters and aiming to get each chapter's best possible ending. It's not the best way for newcomers to get acquainted with this style of gaming, but fans of anime and other strategy RPGs are naturally going to like La Pucelle. Number 3. Phantom Brave There's a lot of creativity in Phantom Brave, and the audience for whom it's intended will enjoy it for the most part. In the end, it can hook you pretty easily and for many hours, especially if you haven't already had your fill of this Gaia and La Pucelle. Number 2. This Gaia 2 Cursed Memories In terms of gameplay, the new stuff in This Gaia 2 consists of relatively subtle changes and additions that you might not notice unless you compare the game side by side with the original. So, if you've enjoyed strategy RPGs in the past, get ready for dozens of hours of quality entertainment from this one, both on and off the battlefield. Number 1. This Gaia, Hour of Darkness It's a game that's unorthodox above all else, and filled with plenty of cheeky humor, likable characters, intriguing gameplay elements, and many hours of turn-based combat. This is a game that could last you hundreds of hours if you let it, and if that sounds exciting, then by all means give the game a shot. Time to waste. What's happening to you?